All right, it's time to start giving him some uh, clumps in the fur. And I'm just going to clear the screen from the snapshot with Control N. And that layer, well, I'm prepared to bake that. Yay. Okay, so this is a very handy trick. It's um, basically when you do clumping, yeah, fill the layer. You have to select the um, clump brush. It's B, G, and groom clumps, C. B, G, C. And let's say you do a lot of clumps. Um, like this. You get a more I'm really rough now, I'm just showing something. Basically, if you do the clumping and uh, your um, supervisor comes along or, or director or anything and says, well, nice clumping, but you know, can we bring it down to 50%? Yeah, sure. Just slide it down. And also, uh, if you want to do like a new Mm, grooming direction. You just turn off the layer, create a new layer, BGI, and um, yeah, it's gonna have have his hair like this, like a good boy. Yeah. And then you can turn on the old layer and you have the, the old clumping turned back on that's really nice to have handy and um, and you might ask why didn't you leave the layer on well I would have destroyed the clumping let's say um, Store this as a morph target. Create a new layer. Again, just to um, show you what I mean. And just s slide on the morph. Yep. I mean, if I would groom this, we would lose the clumping. It would just disappear. Look, it's all straight. No clumping. That's why you need to keep that layer. So, let's do the crump, uh, clumping for real. Something that actually looks good. Um, BGC? Sorry, BGC. There we go. Okay. <coughs> 